Hi, in this video I will show you how to create very simple Unity Android plugin. And in order to create such a plugin, you need uh, Unity 3D in Pro version and Android Studio. So let's start with Android Studio. Open Android Studio. Now create a new project. Let's name it Android Project. And click Next. Click Next. And choose Add No Activity. Since we are not going to display anything on, a, on this uh, Android uh, application. Click Finish. Now new project is being created. On the right bottom uh, corner you will find Gradle Console. Click it so we can uh, see what's going on. And as you can see, build successful, which means our project is ready. Now uh, click on the uh, uh, project tab on the left top corner. And now we have to create a library. Since our plugin is actually a library that is uh, taken by Unity, so we have to create a library. And to do that, click File, choose New, and New Module. Then click, choose uh, Android Library, and click Next. Change name to, let's say, Unity Plugin. And click Finish. Now, as you see, our plugin is ready. So, open Unity plugin. Here you will find Android Manifest. It, this is the one of the two files that we need. And another uh, file will be classes.jar that will be built from source code. So, let's add a Java class, new Java class, and let's name it plugin class. Okay. In this plugin, we will add one public static method. Public static. Uh, this method will return string object, and let's name it get text from plugin. Get text from plugin. This uh, method will take one argument of type integer int number. And it will return string in such a form. Return number is space plus number. And basically that's all our plugin is. It's just a Hello World plugin. So now we have to build our uh, plugin. So go to build and choose make module Unity plugin. Okay, now our uh, new version of uh, plugin is ready. So click right mouse button and choose uh, Show in Explorer. Go to Unity plugin, build, intermediates, uh, bundles, and debug. And here uh, are those two files that we are going to use in Unity. So copy them, let's say on desktop. And now let's create Unity project. Create new project. Let's name it Unity project. Now we have to prepare this brand new uh, project to work on uh, Android device. So let's save the scene. Now let's go to build settings, add current scene, switch to Android platform and change bundle identifier.
Okay, so now we can go uh, with uh, integration of our plugin into Unity. And to do that, we need a couple subfolders. In assets folder, we need to create subfolder name plugins and enter it. Now create Android uh, subfolder, enter it, and the last one is lips. Assets, plugins, Android, lips. Open it uh, in uh, Explorer and move here those two files of our uh, plugin. Move it here. Okay. As you can see, both files are are seen by uh, Unity. Go to Assets. And now we have to figure out how to display the text that is written by our plugin. So I think the simplest way is to create a 3D text object. So go to Game Object, 3D Object and choose 3D Text. Now let's change it a little bit. Uh, let's set Anchor to Middle Center. Change Font Size to 100. Change Scale to 0.1. Now go to main camera, clear flex set to solid color and set Y coordinate to 0. Now save the scene and as you can see Hello World uh, text is uh, on the center of, of the screen. So now to, uh, to get, uh, to get uh, Unity to get the plugin uh, methods, we have to create a C sharp um, script that will be a kind of pl uh, kind of wrapper around uh, our plugin. So create C sharp script and name it plugin wrapper. Now attach that uh, script to the next uh, the new text uh, object. Save it and open that script. We don't need update meter so we can remove it. And now we need three lines of code. First line, we in first line we have to get some way to access text mesh object. So let's create this. Text mesh text mesh equals get component of type text mesh. So now we can change uh, easily the text on the text mesh. Now I need a uh, object that allows me to access the static methods and that will be plugin var plugin uh, object which e equals new android java class. And now Android Java class takes a class name string, which actually is a combination of um, package name and uh, class name. So go back to Android Studio, select package name, copy it, and paste it here. Now put the dot at the end, go back to the Android Studio, select uh, class name, copy it, and put after that dot. Now, now we have a, a plugin object, so we can display the text from the plugin. And to do that, we're doing we're typing text mesh and that text equals plugin uh, get sorry uh, call call static, which means call static method that will return string type. And as argument, it takes uh, first of all uh, method name. So go back again to Android Studio and select and copy the, the method name, paste it here. And after the name, put arguments. Actually, our uh, method takes just one argument, it's just one integer, so let it be 7. And that's it. Save the file, go back to Unity, and start building on your Android device. Build and run. Build and run Unity plugin.apk. Save. And let's see what's happening on my cell phone.
Now click install on the phone. Our Unity application starts and as you can see it works. We passed number 7 to our uh, plugin and it returns number is 7 string. So that's it. Plugin works. And if you're looking for further information you will find all uh, needed links under the video. And if you like this video please click like button. Have a nice day.